Hello, in this video we are going to look at the UI video player. Pretty self-explanatory by the name, what it does, it allows you to play a video. Really easy to set up. Before we get coding, just make sure you have created a Cocast 2DX project and make sure your project is set up for use with the UI plugin. If it isn't, don't worry, because there will be a link in the description to check out a video for that. So let's just get started. Usually you would do UI colon colon and then choose the UI widget that you want to use but it's a little different with the video player. You have to do experimental colon colon UI colon colon video player and the reason for this is it's still an experimental feature as of creating this video and to give you a rough idea it is August 2015 but it will come out of the experimental phase and into the regular UI but don't be worried it works fine so continue using it I'm gonna call it video player equals experimental UI video player colon colon create and now I'm gonna do video player set URL and this is the video that you want to play I'm just gonna get a video link off the internet I'm going to put W Free Schools Video Player. Go to the Video Player site or HTML5 video. I'm just going to copy the video URL. And now what we're going to do is Video Player. Set Content Size. This is basically the size of our player. And for this, I'm going to put Visible Size dot width, which Visible Size is the screen size by 0 0.8 you can do whatever you want I'm just making it slightly smaller than the entire screen just so you can see what happens when you click the full screen button next do video player set position and for this vec2 I'm gonna simply center this so visible size dot width divide by 2 plus origin dot x visible size dot height divide by 2 plus origin dot y and now I'm going to do video player actually no that's it really I'm just going to actually add this as a child now so this add child video player now let's just run it in our simulator So here we go, our simulator has launched and you might be wondering nothing's happening and the reason is we haven't played our video. By default the video player has been initialized based on what we've done. We've created one, we've set the URL for the video, set the size and position. The reason we can't see anything is because we need to play the video. To do that it's really simple, video player play. There, there are a bunch of methods of play stop resume pause so you can assign these to actual buttons and events in your game so I'm just gonna put play put a semicolon now run this now in that simulator when it loads we'll have a video that plays there we go and if I click full screen it goes full screen and I can rewind like so I'm just gonna pause it so we have our video playing and like I said you can make actually I don't think I mentioned it you can set it to be full screen immediately and it, this is great if you're using it as some sort of splash screen some sort of intro you most likely want this to be true so let us run this now It was the same as before, but it will launch full screen, as you can see right there. At the moment, this is all great, it's working fine, and if this is all you want, then fantastic. But what you can do is assign an event listener, so you can detect when the video has changed in terms of the state. So when it starts playing, it gets paused, it stops, it resumes, basically that sort of stuff and to do this really simple go to your hello world scene or your header file 
but before you do that just make sure you just copy this code which is just to set up the UI into your header and now I'm just gonna do void video event call back and in here just do cocos 2d ref now I'm going to do sender cocos 2d colon colon experimental colon colon ui colon colon video player colon colon event type now just name this event type what we're going to do is copy and paste this to save some time go to hello world scene just need to do hello world colon colon and now in here we're going to do a switch statement so switch I'm going to switch on event type and there are going to be a few cases so we're going to do experimental weird that it isn't appearing but fair enough or it does now <laughs> that was weird video player colon colon event type colon colon plane put break and in here it's going to put a log and this log will simply say plane I'm going to copy and paste this to save time it's getting a bunch of errors simply because we haven't modified the event type so it's going to be paused and we'll simply log out paused we're going to do stopped I'm going to do stopped this should be capital so stopped and finally the last one is completed and now if we were to run this it won't work or this method won't be called because we need to actually add the event listener to our video player to do that really really simple all we have to do is video player add event listener cc underscore callback and for this we just do hello world or whatever your class name is video event callback this and now we're ready to run so what will happen is the video will start playing by default and we'll get the log playing like so and if I were to click pause it shows the paused log and if I click again playing pause playing if I let it play because it's only a short video There you go, it says completed because the video has now completed. So that's how you use the UI video player widget. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. There'll be a link in the description to that so you don't need to remember it. Please rate, comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free. It also really helps us provide more content on a regular basis. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.